Hawaii and Geneva. The weather is very sunny. We are so lucky. And all our backstage FCA team is here for a very special report at Piaget. We will meet also one very special person. His name is Jimmy. And he will tell us more about his new collaboration with the brand. And he will bring us inside the manufacture to show all the details and all the best pieces in this brand. So follow us, stay with us. Today we are here for a special occasion and I'm so happy to be here with you. I, I do a, an amazing collaboration with a, a jewelry and watches brand. Uh, the name of this brand is Piaget. How did this collaboration start? It? Uh, what was the starting point of this meeting? The starting point, like in all my life, it's first a, a human meeting with uh, the director of the boutique of Piaget. Uh, her name is Belkis. I think we, we will meet her today. She's just a, a human, a beautiful human person. And I did a massage for her once. She come back. She did another one. <laughs> she liked it. And she said, okay, I want, I want to, to offer this to, 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 my, to my client. So I do a lot of uh, projects like this. I, I train some spa team to massage. I train, uh, I go in a lot of place to, to do massage, to do personal training and to do consulting. So I want to, to, to create something shorter to present myself. And I, I find this world, this concept of wellness designer, and I think it's sweet to me. The pillar of Piaget uh, are construct around human. They really want to put uh, more wellness and more well-being in the life of their clients. And they, they ask me to, to create with them you know, just a beautiful project to it's not a commercial project at all. We, we are not here to sell jewelry or to sell a watch. It's uh, really to, yeah, to put wellness in the, in the life of, of the customer. All the Piaget team is so nice. You will meet them, I hope, if you follow me today, in the manufacture and in the headquarters of Piaget. Can we? It would be yes, great. Yes, yes. I think wow. it's, yeah, it, it could be great. You, nice. you can move me there and you will see the team is just perfect. So for me, it's very easy to go in and to feel uh, comfortable with, uh, with this huge brand. Yeah, and so good. Piaget have a big, huge team, but I know that you have a team also. Yeah. It's your wife who is supporting you in all your projects and you are working together. Exactly. Is it difficult to manage marital life and business life? How do you feel being business partner with your spouse? Yeah, it's, my, my wife don't only support me, she work with me. She's a real part of what we do and what I do. She's a, the, the, the ghost side of me. And here we are with Jimmy at Piaget Manufacture. Jimmy, is it your first time here? Yes, it's my first time here. I'm very excited and very happy to be here. And I really want to see the, the new collection and all the artisans working on the jewelry and on the watches. And to go to the manufacture, all our team will be wearing these white blouses to protect each high piece of jewelry or each high piece of watch which are made here by artisans. Go with me. Hello, I'm Jimmy Jarnet. We are here in Piaget. Please follow me to discover the experience. So, Jimmy, now you are holding gold in your hands. Uh, how much kilos do we have here? I think it's 30 kilos, is this? 13, yeah. 13 kilos, yeah. And if we say it in money? Uh, half, a, half a million dollars, I think. For each component we're making, we will lose between 60 to 80% of gold uh, between before and after machining. Uh, but let me reassure you, we will collect the gold dust, of course. So, hi, my name is uh, Balthazar de Puri. I'm the watch ambassador for Piaget, and I've been working for this maison uh, since uh, more than eight years now. 
here we are with the most expensive golden trash in the world, we can say, because all the tissues with the golden dust goes to this bucket. It looks like this, and I'm really very impressed. During all the day, uh, they are making some cleaning in the machines, and all the golden dust after will be collected to fabricate some other pieces. So the massive gold bar, and now you see uh, what we have left. Uh, you see an altiplano case uh, being born. So let me give it to you. Well, you see, that's the first step of a case uh, being born in Geneva today. Quality control, cleaning, polishing by hand and then this case will be ready to be assembled uh, into a full-time piece. We enter now the diamond setting part of the manufacture and Jimmy will have a chance and the privilege. He will try to set the diamond. Uh, let's check if we will manage. So you have a full 18 karat bracelet uh, being fully paved uh, with diamonds uh, by my colleague. As you can see, it's almost finished. He only has a, a few stones left he has in his little uh, basket here. Uh, so today the diamonds are quite big, so those diamonds do uh, 1.3 millimeter, uh, but my colleague has a know-how to go down uh, to 0 0.8 millimeters, uh, which is smaller than a millimeter, which is quite unique. Because as you know, at Piaget, we have the thinnest mechanical washers in the world. So when you set the thinnest skeleton in the world, the smallest diamond is less than a millimeter. C'est impossible d'imaginer la quantité de pièces que vous avez sorties de diamants. Le but, ce n'est pas la quantité, c'est de nous soit fait plaisir à, à les faire et qu'elles soient réalisées à la perfection. Et dans ce travail, est-ce qu'il y avait une pièce qui vous a posé le plus gros challenge euh, C'était le bracelet montre Aura. I think that this is one of my favorite parts because we can call it like an heritage gallery, Galerie de Patrimoine. Uh, can you please introduce yourself? My name is Alain Bourgeot and I work for Piaget for 32 years. Originally, I'm a jeweler. Uh, we try to be aware of all, of all the Piaget watches or jewels which can be sold in the world. I was really impressed by the piece with Dali coins. Uh, can you yeah. tell us a bit more about this necklace? It was an amazing uh, collaboration, which was a contract was signed in 1967. Uh, Dali had pressed his currency in 1966, nothing with Piaget, because in France you have the Louis d'Or, so he needed to have the Dali d'Or. So he created a coin uh, and the, the design, the pattern of, uh, on, the, on the coin, it's his two profile, his and Gala. And on the other side, you have eggs, because for him, the egg is the origin of universe of life. There is also a very interesting piece. It's like a secret watch. It looks like a bracelet, but it's not. No, this is a secret watch, which was made in the early 60s. Uh, it's a huge chain bracelet and the case with the movement is hidden inside. So when you close the cover, you don't see anything. The most challenging is to be able to show how the DNA of the brand. So we have to be aware of the different know-how and try to find an example of all these specific uh, work of gold, of, of the setting, and of the movement. I'm uh, Guillaume Chautru, I'm the head of the uh, Geomological Department at Piaget. Uh, we have a very specific uh, depart Geomological Department at Piaget. It's very unique in the world. Um, why? Because we have uh, an internal lab uh, which is very rare. Any problem you have, you can come here, we have a solution. Today, the difficulty is we are running after the best quality of stone uh, possible, uh, but you have a lot of competitors and a lot of people who are running after. Um, as we are a niche brand, we are very specific, we are very quality oriented. To get the stone before them, I get to go closer to the source. That's why I spend a lot of time um, everywhere around the world, close to, to mines, to, to get the rough be, before them. In your collection, on the same uh, criteria, um, the more value you add on each stone. Because one stone is rare, but to have two rarity, it makes like, it's what we call the one plus one equal three. You know, for example, a line of Colombian emerald like this, this level of quality, 
just to get six stone, I got to check at least 5,000 stone. Uh, we are approximately uh, 300 people working in Geneva and around 70 people in La Côte aux Fées, in the Swiss Watch Valley where we make the movement. The brand was founded like 150 years ago, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, almost, you're right, uh, 1874. So in a few years, we will celebrate the 150th anniversary of Piaget for our maison. And you have also produced the finest watch. Is yes, it right? You're right, we are the experts of the thinnest mechanical watches in the world. To give you uh, an idea of the thickness uh, between your skin and the last component, you only have 0.12 millimeters left of cobalt, uh, which is approximately one hair of thickness between your skin uh, and the last component. Jimmy, thanks for bringing us here. It was a great day. What did impress you more? Everything, the, yeah, the, the size of everything and the detail of everything. You know, the size of the, the manufacturer is huge and all the, all the artisans are working on so tiny pieces, it's, it's so delicate and so, wow, it's crazy, really. I'm so impressed. To end up with our beautiful day, we will bring you to the boutique. And we have a chance to meet this charming lady today. She will present herself because she's the director of the first ever Piaget boutique. Hi everyone, my name is Belkis and I'm the director of the historical boutique of Piaget in Geneva. I'm very happy to welcome you all to visit our boutique and I just can't wait to share the joy with you. Basically, it was the, as you said, I'm in the historical boutique. So this is really a place, I mean, who was really an, uh, an innovator in his brand because usually you had boutiques with uh, lots of pieces on the windows and he decided he had the choice to basically have one piece per window. It was very, uh, very new to all the industry. Nous sommes arrivés à Rue de Rhône, c'est juste au centre-ville de Genève et nous sommes avec Patrick dans cette magnifique boutique avec des touches bleu canard, les touches dorées. C'est le lieu parfait pour faire le shopping de luxe, n'est-ce pas Patrick Effectivement, vous avez bien dit, tout est bleu ici parce que c'est la couleur historique de la marque Piaget. Et nous sommes ici dans la boutique historique également que M. Piaget a ouverte lui-même en 1959. Je suis très passionnée par la pièce qu'on voit sur la vitrine. Je sais que c'est la politique de la maison, on peut dire c'est une pièce par vitrine, pas plus. On a fait travailler des artisans d'art. Il y a une marqueterie de plumes qui est exceptionnelle et la particularité de ce collier, c'est qu'il se transforme. C'est-à-dire, c'est un collier, on va dire, en point d'interrogation qui vient se positionner sur le buste, mais les plumes s'enlèvent et peuvent être transformées en boucles d'oreilles. La maison a un, un, tellement riche, a un, un savoir-faire incroyable. Le plus particulier, c'est tous les savoir-faire qui ont existé depuis toutes ces années, à savoir le travail de l'or, la couleur, la symétrie. On a environ 100 boutiques dans le monde, donc il faut quand même que tout le monde ait des pièces exceptionnelles. This Altipano. Altipano is the iconic watch at Piaget. Uh, here you have an example of a uh, tourbillon watch, which is a high complication. Uh, it is a rose gold tourbillon watch um, with a guilloché dial. It's an absolute piece of art. Gala is the emotion, it is the femininity, and this is the iconic feminine watch. Um, this one is an absolute uh, beautiful watch. It's novelty from this year. We are very lucky to, to get it here in Geneva. Yeah, probably one of the best pieces we can we can do, we can produce. It's the quintessence between watchmaking and jewelry. Um, it's a skeleton movement. Uh, with a tourbillon. Jimmy, our last stop for this wonderful day. Yeah with plenty discovering, with a lot of nice meetings, with talented people, with artisans. We are here in the boutique, but I know that we are here for the special occasion. Yes, it's true. Today it's a special day for me too, because uh, today I will be uh, an ambassador and friend of the brand, Piaget. And I'm so proud of this, and I think I will have a, a very beautiful gift from the, from, from the brand. This is the iconic uh, Piaget Polo. Uh, this watch was born in 1979. It's one of the most iconic in the watch industry. And this is uh, for Jimmy, uh, the very special one, bright new, 
so thin in skeleton way with a blue face because we used to talk about the blue color of Piaget. Thanks a lot. Thank you so much. And Jimmy, I'm sure that with this piece you will be always on time for your timeless experience. I will try to. I will try to. I don't have any excuse right now. Yeah, for sure. Hope you enjoyed this nice experience as we did. And stay with us, we will bring you to most exclusive events and to the most interesting backstages.